Once upon a time, there was an ASM artist, and he wanted to make another channel dedicated to eating, because he loves food, and that's me. I don't know if you could tell, but yeah. So, um, uh, I really like food, um, and I wanted to kind of start another channel where I could just kind of talk and, you know, eat and all that good stuff, because that's like one of my dreams is to just be able to eat food and make videos about it, because... Who doesn't like to do that? So, here is a new channel, my first video on the new channel, of me tasting Jersey Mike's subs. Now, I know this is probably weird for a lot of you because you're used to, like, my ASMR voice. And I'm going to be trying to keep my voice lower for those of you who find eating videos relaxing. But it's not going to be a whisper, per se. But anyways, yeah. Here we have the best sub place in the world. I will argue that till I die. Jersey Mike subs. A sub above, as they say. Right here on the packaging. A sub above. And it is a sub from above, because it tastes like heaven. But, yeah, so, uh, I got a giant sub today. We're gonna be doing the giant sub challenge. I've never finished a giant sub, but we'll see if I can today for you guys. I have my drink. Very tasty. I'm a cheapskate, so I didn't want to pay for the soda, so we have water. I'm sorry if that triggers a bunch of you, but... Gosh, it's not often that I get to drink during a video. But yeah, so welcome to the channel. Uh, if you're new, please leave a subscribe. It would mean so much to me if we're going to be growing this channel. Also, leave a like and a comment below some ideas of places you would like me to try and some challenges you'd like me to do. So yeah. This is the Jersey Mike's Giant Sub. I had to get it Uber Eats because I'm not really allowed out of the house because of this whole quarantine virus situation, which is pretty stupid. Um, I'm not allowed out of the house. My bum actually took my keys. <laughs> but yeah, so I had to Uber Eats this. Um, and uh, so let's hope the guy that gave it to me didn't have the virus or else I'm screwed. Again, I'm not trying to joke about the virus, because I know it's a pretty touchy subject. But anyways, here we have the sub. I'm going to take it out and get that crisp thumbnail. So here it is open. They did me the honor of cutting it in fourths, which makes it a little more palatable, I think. Y'all are probably wondering what it looks like, so there's what it looks like. It's just basically a sub, but um, here's here's what I get on mine. I usually get uh, chili pepper relish. I get it Mike's way. I don't know if you guys know what that is. That's basically onions, lettuce, tomatoes, um, the meat, and uh, then you can add stuff. So I add mustard, mayo. I don't think you can have a sandwich without mustard and mayo. And then they put chili pepper relish, and uh, they also put... Um, uh, man uh, mayonnaise and mustard. I already said that. And I get mine with rosemary parm bread, but we're just gonna We're gonna get into this. We're gonna try a bite of this. I know this is really unprofessional I'm still trying to work out how to do these kinds of videos, but we're gonna try this It's pretty good Now, they did not give me a napkin, so that's one downside, I guess. So I'm going to try as hard as I can not to make a mess, but yeah, this is a monster sandwich. Now, taste-wise... It's really good. And by the way, this is the Italian sub. I'm one of those types of people that like when I go somewhere and I get something that I really like, I will like only eat that. So this is all I get when I go to Jersey Mike's, the Italian sub. Uh, I guess I don't really try new things there.
but hey, yeah, it's good. So it's a little, hmm, soggy, I guess, just because I have tomatoes on it. And also, I like to put oil and vinegar on a sandwich because I don't think you can have a sandwich without oil and vinegar. It really brings it together. It kind of gives it a salady taste. Even though it's a sandwich. But, it really is probably the best sub that you could ask for. I'm probably going to have to Zach Joy this and eat the whole thing. I don't know how this is going to fit in my stomach, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I can do it. So, y'all got to be rooting for me here. Yeah. I know there's probably people that hate it when people like lick their fingers, but I kind of have to. I don't have any napkin with me. That's some good water. But anyways, I'm really excited for the day to be over because I have started this new tradition. Or not a tradition. I used to watch Lego Ninjago with my family uh, back nine years ago. And just recently, I decided to start rewatching it. And it's a really good show. It still holds up nine years later. So that's what I do at the end of the day. Pop in a little Ninjago Masters of Spinjitzu as an 18 year old, and that's my life. Mm. And school, by the way. But no, Ninjago is like a really good show. It's kind of cheesy, of course. It's, but surprisingly, for a Lego show, I feel like they were going for like a higher audience level than just five year olds. Because you notice with a lot of shows like that, they stoop down and make it just for like little kids. But they made it for older kids too because I still enjoy it. It's not like I'm just saying that because, you know, I'm old, I, I used to watch it. I actually think it holds up pretty well for all ages. It's really funny and it's got some pretty good action. And you can tell that they worked on the storyline. But yeah, I mean, it's a good thing to do whenever you're bored during quarantine. We're getting down to the halfway point. It was pretty good. I do think it could use a little bit more, um, like, I don't know if they put the relish on it. I don't think they did. Usually they put the cherry pepper relish or whatever it's called. I don't remember the name. I never remember it, so I always sound stupid. Like, I go in and I'm like, can I get that red stuff? And they're like, you mean the chili pepper relish? And I'm like, yeah. We're almost halfway, boys and girls. Next time I'll put the camera in an angle where you can like see me better. It's like cutting off my head. So I have to slouch over and I look really dumb. Maybe a more flattering view next time. <laughs> yeah. So good. I don't know why people watch these videos in the first place. Kind of literally just me eating. So y'all let me know some constructive criticism. What would make these videos better? 
You got sauce dripping all over the place. Mm. Uh, definitely napkins next time. That's a must. Move the sandwich this way a little bit so it stops dripping. Because it has a lot of oil and stuff. Mm. I think we'll tack this end right here because this is the biggest piece. I don't know, maybe having you guys on here will help me complete the challenge. We shall see. Mmm. But, as I was saying, I don't know why people watch these videos. One, y'all aren't getting the food. I am. And two, it's kind of disgusting, but you know what? This is what I want to do, so it's what we're going to do. Um, I want to make a goal by the end of quarantine to have 10,000 subscribers, which is high, but I feel like we can do it. I mean, we're almost at a million on the ASMR channel, so we might as well get 10,000 on the eating channel. Do any of you use water to pack the food down to get more? I find that drinking water helps me to eat more. I don't know what it is, but it does. But man, this is a pretty filling sandwich. I think we might be able to finish this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish that. But the Italian has like probably the most calories of any. What the? Is that an onion? Yeah. Um, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by the onion. Um, the Italian has the most calories of any sandwich on the menu besides the state the, the uh, what was it the cheesy uh, what is it uh, Philly cheesesteak so there's a lot of calories and I've been trying to work out more so I need a little bit more um, calories to build that muscle protein this has a lot of protein and calories so, for all of you workout folks out there, yeah, this is the sandwich for you. And it's pretty tasty. It's not that tasty anymore just because I've been eating so much of it. I mean, this is a big sandwich. And I'm not one to eat a whole bunch because I'm kind of skinny. I can't eat that much. Like, I mean, I have, like, a small stomach. So, I think I, I've gone pretty far. Usually, I'm pretty stuffed after eating a regular-sized version, which the regular size is big already, but this is just taking it to a whole other level. I mean, it is called the Giant Italian sub, not the tiniest Italian sub. One thing I like about the sandwich is when you're done, you get a healthy little salad at the bottom. See? Finger, finger food. Whew. Bottoms up. Mm-hmm. Pretty good, pretty good. I really need a napkin. I, I might just use this box. It's funny how much you can want food 
Like when you're hungry. And then when you're full, you're just like, nah. Alright. Shrink the last of the water. do it can we complete the challenge uh, oh, I really don't want to but we'll try it no I think that'll be it <laughs> I can't do it anymore so I didn't complete the giant Jersey Mike challenge maybe we'll repeat this visit and I can do a part two and try for it next time. But as of now, that's a our first challenge is scrapped. Comment how badly you want the sandwich, because I know you want it so bad. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.